All professional activities of the head of the Russian news agency Sputnik Moldova of Vitaly Denisov is connected with the main intelligence directorate of the Russian Ministry of Defense, the authors of the investigation by the insider say. Denisov has a very indirect relationship with journalism and, presumably, is a career officer of the 72nd Special Service Center, military unit 54777, which, in the interests of the main intelligence directorate, is engaged in information injections and disinformation to foreign audiences, from a publication by The Insider. Deniso worked in the main printed organ of the Russian Ministry of Defense, the Krasnaya Zvezda newspaper. In 2005 he received a departmental apartment. It is known that Deniso worked in the main investigation department of the Moscow region and then moved to the 72nd Special Services Center. In 2016 he was awarded the rank of colonel. And three years later he was assigned to head Sputnik, first in South Ossetia, then in Azerbaijan, and from 2022 in Moldova. Perhaps it would not have been resolved further if not for two points that were drawn attention to. First, they noticed that he is one of the coordinators of Russian propagandists in Moldova, a very convenient covered operation, because many of them went to the Sputnik Moldova, recorded on the radio, and he could meet with them informally. But the policy pursued by Sputnik Moldova is important. The site was banned there, but the organization itself existed, they carried out pro-Russian Kremlin narratives. After the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Information and Security Service of Moldova blocked the Sputnik Moldova website, and in March 2023, Kishinev restricted access to five more sites of this news agency. We are now paying attention to Transnistria. For a long time we underestimated the processes that are taking place there. And Russia continues to work hard there. Secondly, Russia is working very hard in Guguzia. They would like to create a second bridgehead. And so you understand, these bridgeheads are created to influence the political situation in Moldova. But at the same time, these bridgeheads are also created against Ukraine. The Kremlin has worked for decades to create a pro-Russian audience in Moldova, analysts say. And not only through the media. In April 2023, the Chisinau Appeals Chamber sentenced in absentia the leader of the pro-Russian Shore Party, Ilan Shore, to 15 years in prison with confiscation of property for fraud and money laundering. In May, the EU Council imposed sanctions on a number of oligarchs for destabilizing Moldova. On the list are Ilan Shore and the vice chairman of his party, Marina Tauberg. A month later, the Constitutional Court of Moldova declared the activities of the Shore Party unconstitutional and the parliament voted to liquidate it. Society was waiting for this decision because the citizens of Moldova value and want to live in a democratic rule of law state where criminal organizations don't protect it but deprived for the opportunity to take over the country. A political party created on corruption and for the sake of corruption poses a danger to the constitutional order and security of the state. Maya Sandu, president of Moldova on Facebook. In July and August 2023, Kishinev expelled 45 Russian diplomats and employees of the Federation Embassy. The reason is Moscow's attempts to destabilize the situation in the country. Reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.